What's going on, Colts Nation? I appreciate you joining me for another video where today we got a couple of things to talk about. One being another signing that the Colts made. This one, not one that I think really anybody expected, not one that I really think anybody really wanted, but Taven Bryan has re-signed with the Colts on a one-year deal. And I got to tell you, I re just recently got home from work started checking Twitter, see what was going on throughout the day. Uh, I saw that the Taven Bryan news happened and uh, went on Twitter to see what the reaction was. And it's not great coming from people that cover the Colts, people that talk about the Colts on Twitter. You know, the reaction is not great. And look, Taven Bryan, he's just a depth piece, right? And it's not so much about Taven Bryan. I mean, there's a little bit about Taven Bryan. We saw him have to play last year when Big Grove was out. I don't know if we need to be doing that. You know, maybe he's really good on special teams. I could see that being a thing and that being a reason why he's back on the team. But when you really think about it, I think it's more in from some of the people on Twitter. It sounds like it's more about the fact that other people aren't being signed, right? The, the, the Jerry Sneed deal didn't go through. Julian Blackman not re-signed. Another safety not re-signed. Like, we haven't signed a safety. Like, and we're going to talk about that tomorrow, so make sure you're subscribed with notifications on. We're going to talk about secondary players tomorrow and start trying to figure out what the Colts should do from this point. Um, but for right now, again, we're talking about Taven Bryan coming back on a one-year deal. And also something that I want to talk about is Brandon Ayuk. Okay, now Brandon Ayuk, it looks like if there's going to be any moves, it's probably going to end up being the Steelers that make a move to go get Brandon Ayuk. But Brandon Ayuk is somebody that's looking for a new deal and looking to get paid more money. And a lot of people thinking that his tweet, okay, he put out a tweet that was adding Mike Tomlin, right? At Mike Tomlin, you know, and people are saying that we look like twins. Let's figure this out, right? And people are saying, okay, this means he wants to go to Pittsburgh, which is very possible with everything that they've been doing, very possible that he's going to want to go to Pittsburgh. It's also very possible he's just going to want to go somewhere where people are getting paid, right? Where can he go to make the most money is what Brandon Ayuk is doing. He could also just be trying to play a money game and try to get more money from the 49ers. So we'll see how this goes. But, of course, the Colts were listed as a team because – People think we need wide receivers, and we do, that we might be a team that's interested in going after Brandon Ayuk. Now, that's going to cost a lot in a couple of different ways. Okay, the draft capital that you have to give up for Brandon Ayuk is going to be heavy, right? These star wide receivers, it's going to be a little heavier. Now, it will be a little decrease, and probably a lot like the LeJerry Sneed thing, right? A second or third rounder, and then some other compensation on the back end, whatever it may be. But because you're going to be the team, right? If you're trading for him, you're going to have to sign him to an extension. And you, since you're giving him a bunch of money, the draft capital will be a little bit lower. So with all the receivers that are coming out in this draft, and we're so deep at receiver in this upcoming draft, like when you look at Brandon Ayuk, right? He's six foot, 205. He's only 26 years old. And he's one of the best route runners in the NFL. While this past season, he averaged 17.9 yards per reception. Okay, this is a guy, a lot of the times when he touches the ball, I don't remember the statistic and don't have it in front of me, but a lot of the times, most of the time when he touched the ball, they were getting first downs, continuing the possession. So Brandon Ayuk has come on, been really good. Whenever he's able to stay healthy, he is an absolute problem. Again, one of the best route runners in the NFL. You know, Currently on my phone, as I'm talking about this, there's a you know, highlight reel of Brandon Ayuk and the routes that he runs. It's just, he's so good. He's so good. He proved it this past year, being able to stay healthy. He is so good. So would I be excited to see him become a Colt? Of course. Do I want to give up everything that we're going to have to give up? I don't think so. With his upcoming draft, I just don't think it's necessary. Go ahead, draft a guy that will be younger. You can develop him yourself, and he's going to be much cheaper. I'd rather go get a guy like LeJarius Sneed. If we're going to give up draft picks and a bunch of money, let's go ahead, spend it on a guy that we can sign to a three-year deal just like we're signing to all these other guys and by the time it's get time to give anthony richardson his money all these guys are coming up you can figure out who you want to re-sign other guys are going to retire and then you can give anthony richardson his money and then figure it out from there that's how i think things should go but again that legerious and sneed thing 
if it happens, it'll be closer to draft time at the moment. I think we're just moving on. The Colts seem to have moved on, and we're going to move on here. And again, we're going to be talking more about the secondary tomorrow. So please subscribe. Have those notifications turned on so you get notified when that video comes out. And of course, when any other news and updates come out, I'll let you guys know as soon as possible. So with that said, I appreciate you stopping by for another video. And as always, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and go Colts.